Hello there, great person. Welcome back to Multiscat, where we will see whether Multi, me, will get scared today. The one we will watch is the scariest videos that will revisit you tonight. In Russia, a video will revisit you. Yeah, that didn't really make sense, but anyway, it's from Frostmare, as you can see, we've got him here, our expert, our good, good collector of nice videos. And we will see if he manages to let us uh, experience some creepy, creepy ghost stuff. And let's get scared with style and let's get into the video right away. Hello guys, today we want to take a look at some new scary captures that the internet could come up with. And now we want to dive in. Let's buckle up and stay frosty. <laughs> That's good. Frostman. The following video was recorded by user arvin.de from Germany. He himself is very interested in the paranormal and once in a while likes to tamper with a Ouija board. Some of you might agree that this is not the smartest idea. See, Frostmare knows. Frostmare is an expert. Of course, he's not a real expert, you know, because no one is, as we've proven in the last video. But yeah, you don't play around with this because you might anger something. It's not that this does anything, you know, it's, it's not like you would, I think, that you would address a ghost then when you use a Ouija board and then it, it communicates with you and it tricks you because it's not the one you were thinking to be in contact with, you know, and I think that I don't think that's the case, but if there is a ghost passing through and you do this and it notices that you are poking fun of whatever, something you don't understand, yeah, that, that can end badly. So there are only negatives to using something like this. And he has some interesting clips of weird things happening during his sessions. However, we are really interested in one of his trips he has taken. So he's taking a trip to an exorcist called Anneliese Michel. Recently, he ventured to the hometown of Anneliese Michel, yeah. whose story about her exorcism is quite famous. They were hoping to find something interesting in the ruins of her old house. Okay, so I will translate a bit. Um, so the the exorcism I think was done on her. I'm not sure, but I think it was done on her. And you see here, he's the the caption says all the roads had been flooded. Unfortunately, it was torn down already. However, a family shed which was built close by still remains up until this day. And Arvin was checking it out, and he might have captured something that he didn't expect. This hut is supposedly belonging to her family or oh, yeah and there is uh, the, the comment on the top is saying uh, are there more recordings from that place let's see what we find oh man what an eerie place A face seems to be peeking out from Where? one of the roof beams. Yeah, they're, they're on the right. Armin said that nobody yeah, was up there at the time. Here. And he certainly didn't hear anything. Many commenters there, though, there made him aware yeah. of oh, 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 man, 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 man. another dimension, or can it easily be explained? Well, it's so messed up. Yeah, you creepy eye thingy. Didn't get me because I did not see it for four times, you know, if I had seen it immediately, I think it would have gotten me because that was and if the um, uh, If it had been a bit longer before so if you we would have seen them in this building longer That would have gotten me Oh, not another girl. I hate girls in hospitals the was taken in an unused hallway of a children's hospital the uploader states, this picture was taken by a co-worker's sister. She asked me to put it out there to show people. The full story is that her and one of her colleagues were walking past the unused hallways when they heard a clattering sound. She shot the picture specifically because of the paranormal stories that flowed around the place. They didn't notice the apparition when they took the photo. Or I'm sure they would have checked to see if there was actually a kid. 
She's an honest person and I personally believe her story. I just wanted to get that picture out there for people to see. So, short answer, it's possible that it was just a kid acting up, but it's really strange that nobody saw yep. that girl at the time. From yep. what I understand, the corridor is mostly unused, but they store equipment and things in it. I have yeah, but I'm not so sure how zoomed in this is, you know, so if she took a picture of the hallway and it's quite cluttered, you know, you see this. So it, it might have been might have been just that uh, it was so small in the background, you know, and then she didn't see it. And then there could have been a kid, but I don't know. I've been assured that patients aren't kept in these rooms. But other than that, I can't say for sure. Hmm. Peculiar. What do you guys think? Peculiar. Could they capture an actual ghost girl? Peculiar. Oh no, not another thingy. Not another, another grudge thingy. video found in the paranormal thingy. ghost section. Becca has posted it and wasn't quite sure what she had seen that night. She states, oh. I capture a black shadow in my house. Didn't see anything weird in any other part of the video. It was taken in the late evening, around 9pm. I'm pretty sure nobody else was there. It's just me, my aunt and uncle who live here and they were both out that night. I remember because they went over to my cousin's place. Where is it? I didn't it? want to go because I wanted to stay and play with my new puppy. I didn't check the house at the time because I didn't notice the figure until I was showing a friend the video of my dog today. Where I took are the you? video about three weeks ago. I don't know if it's paranormal, but it freaks me out. We've never had any other weird experiences in this house. That poor doggy. I hope he's not. Hope he's. Oh, good puppy. Hope it didn't sca Oh man, yeah, there was a guy running around there. Hope it's not a stranger. Perhaps it's just a blanket going its merry way. Perhaps a cousin of uh, Blanky, the flying blanket that we saw once in this abandoned hospital. What but exactly yeah. is going mm. on here in the background, guys? There clearly seems to be a figure walking by. And it appears to be some kind of black cloth. Was it yep. a shadow person? Or just somebody? Or no, shadow people don't look like this. They're shadows. This might have been a phantom. If we go down this road, that it was something. Of her family. People on Reddit are not sure. And there were many theories about what was captured that night. Oh, good puppy. Aww. I love doggies. Oh, he's, he's so happy. This was also found in the paranormal section of Reddit. It reads as follows. Someone caught this on a home security camera in my country, which is Costa Rica. People believe it to be a creature which is living in the rural area. There's several legends that speak of this crab-like uh, thing. Oh, what are you? Just that. That's so weird. That is so weird, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, get it. Get it. What do you believe? Is this just a random person pranking the villagers? Or is there something more behind this sighting? Hmm. I don't know. Looks smoky at the edges, so I don't know. <laughs> the dog man. The goat man. Why is it always a blah 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 man? I don't know. Animal man. Hope it's not a creepy Alexis dog, man. Forwarded me the following video. He stated that he has found it on the internet and that the source, unfortunately, is unknown. Apparently, it was captured by a villager who might have called oh, don't be so, dog man Don't be creepy. Night. He saw that thing walking around outside after he heard Ooh. really strange noises in front of his house. Oh, man, what are you? What is that? What are you? Oh, man, L look at look at it. Oh, you're so weird. That is so weird. Ooh. Ooh, yeah.
idea that got me. That's so weird. I mean, I mean, what, what is this? Is this the eyes? This the eye? The four eyes? What is there? What is it doing there? Why is it wandering around? What's it gonna? What? What? What is it looking for? Man, it looks so angry. Look at that thing. Isn't it simply terrifying? Ah, uh, yeah, the eyes, and then this looks like. <sighs> Oh, don't go into the camera. Yeah. Oh man, Those look at it. Exactly went down that night. Could it be the dog man? <laughs> Could it be the dog man? Don't call it dog man. It sounds stupid. It's a different creature. Or did somebody just prank him with a mask or something? Oh man, look how strange it is. Then it just runs away. Runs, floats away. It's so weird. L um. Imagine you were at home at night and then you hear some scratching on the w window two feet beside you. So you were sitting on the sofa on the couch and next to you is the window about a meter away and you are watching TV and you suddenly hear scratching and you you look you look right and there this thing is staring at you. That would be so, so messed up. Yeah, that, that got me. That was so weird, so weird. This was sent by Julia, and she tells me that a security camera in a family home has caught something really inexplicable. They have only moved in recently, but ever since, they wake up to some really strange noises in the middle of the night. Even their motion yeah, sensor alarm gets toggled on to the so right. often without anybody being on the ground floor. Here's some the of family you. has mounted several security cameras around the house for safety and to maybe capture the cause of all of this. One evening, the camera in the living room has caught something really bone-chilling. Oh, okay, it wasn't what we saw, so... Yeah. Hello there, ghosty. Hello there, general weirdy. Yeah, it's, it's a shape. It's a shape of... Perhaps a boy. Little boy, could be a little boy. I think it's a little boy. Yeah. Apparently, the man was alone that night, and nobody else should have been. On Obviously, he wasn't. This recording, but him. So, how do we explain this semi-transparent figure walking up the stairs? Is it a ghost from the past? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's it's. Kevin, the custodian ghost hunter, posts very interesting. That's a nice name. In ghost investigations on his channel. Today we want to check out one of his trips. He and his daughter went to the supposedly haunted Devil Tramping Ground in North Carolina. He had visited this area before and he states that it looked way more cleared out than the first time when he was there. They noticed that several items have been left by what appears to be other people. Yeah, don't, man, don't litter. Not in the forest. I mean, there are bins everywhere. Don't be a Richard. Don't be a Richard. Yeah, look at that. This is the Devil's Tramping Ground. Why is it called that? Are we gonna see a devil? A devil man? A goat devil man? Or a but jumpy goblin? around at the time. However, for some reason, a really strange figure appears behind his daughter in the woods. Where? 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 I got my ghost hunting gear ready to go. Why Charged ghost up? hunting? It's called Devil's ground tramping ground maybe ever who was here before had to get out here in a hurry oh man what was that did you not see that i mean seriously man yeah there i mean come on that was so clearly visible to him and it's why do you see that you would see that. It Come on, man. And it's not easy to make out. Many people are certain. Looks like one of these blanket ghosts, you know, the, the white blanket with the eyes and the... Ooh, 
that one. Yeah. That this is in fact a real ghost. Both of them didn't notice that apparition at the time and continued to scout out the perimeter. How curious. A demon in his or her house. The video is a really creepy one. It was sent by Thomas, and he told me that the man in the following clip is living in a haunted house for several years now. I'm a bit unfamiliar with the English language, as you might know. So, does being hunted also mean being visited by demons? Because isn't hunted only by ghosts? I'm a bit confused here, perhaps. Some native speaker, uh, speaker could clear that up for me in the comments. You know that that. So because I'm not sure why why would what a demon hunt something? I mean, an entity can perhaps hunt something, but a demon. Yeah, but perhaps perhaps perhaps, perhaps I, I'm not sure. I'm sorry, but I, this I just don't know. house was built in the early 1900s and apparently was home to a cult in the 60s. As weird as that sounds, sometimes these stories are just that stories. Tonight, the man heard a weird scream from the lower area of his house, and he grabbed his cell phone to investigate. Alright, it's dark. Turn on the light. And the light doesn't work. Great. Oh wait, night vision. Okay. Night vision. Where are you, Captain Weirdy? General Weirdy? Right. Uh, Where are you? Mm. Is it a jumping goblin? The female figure is standing right in front of him. And that he gets got me. Instantly, and drops his phone, and the recording ends. <laughs> it is unclear me. what happened after this. If it isn't just somebody <laughs> pranking him, or it's a, a bit stupid, but got me because it was for this pretty terrifying female thing. Was so, so crispy, you know, so so clear. But it, then it smiled like the the evil witch from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and then I knew it was fake. But yeah. I mean, I already... So we're in the review now. So I think this is fake because... Let's start with the last one for, for a change. So because it's fresh in my mind. I think this is was, was fake because he was so obviously acting in the beginning, I think. He said, oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's so dark. Oh, oh, I didn't know it was dark in my house when I, there was no light. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's switch on the light. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, that's so strange. That's so strange. So let's... Let's do night vision. Did you hear me? I said I am doing night vision. Yeah, you know, so you can see it now. Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay, okay, okay. So now I'm, I'm, I'm going directly towards it. There was a sound that I heard from there. You didn't, you didn't hear that. But I'm telling you, there was a sound, and now I'm going there. And now there is this weirdo. Yeah, I think that's fake. It got me. It scared me. Because it looked mean and angry and evil, but then it cackled like the witch from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and I knew it was fake. And then the it got me. It, I was scared. Faded away. You know. But uh, yeah, then then let's go to the beginning. The Ouija board. Yeah, man. That was that was creepy. I hope this was fake. Might be legit. Might be a homeless person sitting there living. Living there because you know it was abandoned, and there are some people who who look for a shelter, and perhaps it was someone who didn't want to be seen. So it might be legit. This one I don't know. Might have been just a child standing there, and it was zoomed in quite a lot. So perhaps you just didn't see it because you know this chair is so close. This this chair is so close, and she she claims that she did not see anything. So why would she zoom in on this this place when when she did not know that there was this girl standing? So I think it's this is not the whole picture. 
it's just a small small piece of the picture and the picture was bigger and then they zoomed it in and they found this in the background and it might have been just a patient might have been just the daughter of someone standing there i don't know but it's probably legit in that way and this was someone in a cloak moving around that was that was fake that was fake. I mean, I like this blanket stuff. We've had some blanket videos in the past now, and I like that. It can be really scary. It wasn't in this case, but can be scary. can be very, very scary. Yeah, and the puppy was cute. I like the puppy a lot. And the, and the crab man. Yeah. I don't know. Might have been CGI. What made it good was that the dog was interacting with it, but it didn't attack it, you know? I'm not sure. It looked a bit CGI. It was the, the edges were a bit too uh, smoky sometimes, and I think the shadow did not fit all the time, so I don't know. It's, it's just, you know, here, here, this, this part, this part, this part, this part. It looks so, the, so smoky, you know? And then it looks cleaner here. You know, it, it, I don't know, looked fake. This one, yeah, it was probably a guy in a costume, but it got me because it was so weird. The dog, man, what's that supposed to be? What is that supposed to be? I don't know. It looked weird. I didn't know where the eyes were. I hate it when I can't place it, when I can't categorize where I've seen something like this, and that got me because it was so weird. It was such a weird thing, and I hope I never see it in real life weirdy thingy yeah and this was i don't know it was doctored i think it was a hoax i don't know it was just shade could be superimposed this could be a, a picture about uh above the movie uh, the, the the film you know you know what i mean then here there was this was fake you you can't tell me this is real this was so obvious in the background and you didn't see it and then he points the camera down so it can, can disappear. No, man. Come on. Come on. No. That's fake. That is fake. And it didn't scare me. It was just a blanket ghost. I hate blanket ghosts. They're so uh, uncreative. I mean, I love blankets. When horror with blankets, as I've, as I've said uh, before in this video, I like when blanket stuff is done great. But this is just someone who has a white sheet over his head and he's running around and then they have planned this so yeah i didn't i didn't like this one this was boring and it was obviously fake and then this one was also fake but as we, we've already talked about it so yeah demon it wasn't a demon it wasn't a demon it wasn't a demon um so yeah but got scared twice got multi scared so good job video again i got multi scared we yeah, we have quite some videos that multi-scare me in these days. I like that. That's good. I really like that. I really like these videos. And I know there are some that are perhaps not so good. And, you know, I don't watch them beforehand. Sometimes there's a clip that I've seen before. But then again, perhaps I see something new the second time. That's, that's good, you know? Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you, if you did... Um, yeah, subscribe to Frostmare. This is one of uh, his earlier videos, I think. So yeah, support them, man. They are great. They're doing their job. They are cutting all this together, you know, and I'm enjoying it. I uh, I support them. So yeah, if you like this, per perhaps you could leave a like at the video. I mean, I'm, I'm linking it in the description as always. So yeah, you might, or you might join the discussion on the video. But yeah, anyway, I hope you uh, have a happy, scary day and... Uh, Remember, do not poke the ghost, don't poke the entity, and don't poke the animal, and don't poke anything. Anything that can harm you, potentially. So, with that said, you know the drill. This was everything. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you have a very nice day. See you around. Bye.